Jesus Christ be praised now and forever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the letter to the Hebrews in the reading in the Vespers of this Friday in Easter Octave. There, the writer tells us about the Lord Jesus that, quote, son though he was, Christ learned obedience from what he suffered. And when perfected, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. We never forget that Christ's glorious resurrection was sequel to his most painful death on the cross. Jesus Christ, Son of God, who took on human nature for love of us and for our salvation, accepted the terrible passion of the cross in obedience to his eternal Father and for love of us. He suffered for us and being made perfect, says the epistle to the Hebrews, being made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him. The Lord Jesus, our eternal high priest, reconciled us to God the Father, as the prophet Isaiah foretold he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that made us whole, and with his stripes we are healed. As we get set for the solemn dedication of this exceptional new chapel. We adore and thank the Lord Jesus who made such a heavy price. He paid such a heavy price for our salvation. We pray the most blessed Virgin Mary who stood at the foot of the cross to obtain for us the grace to accept the crosses that divine providence sends or allows to come our way during our earthly pilgrimage. We offer all in Christ, through Christ, and with Christ. Christendom College is blessed to have this jewel as its church. May Christ the King accept this first solemn Vespers as the solemn prayer of his church goes up like incense before the Lord. Saint Augustine our Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, prays for us and in us and is himself the object of our prayers. He prays for us as our priest. He prays in us as our head and he is the object of prayers, our prayers, because he is God. To him, Christ the King, be adoration, honor, glory in this church and everywhere, forever and ever.